Alrighty, um, this is Sweet John 33 back for some more Dominion in the same day as uh, the last video I just I will have just posted. Um, this time we're playing against Sir Lucasen for the D League semifinals, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be first to 2.5, no special rules, just regular old kingdoms. And uh, yeah, let's take a first look at this kingdom. We have Paddock, um, Sheepdog. Industrial yeah, Exorcist. Um, Paddock is the only village. And the only way to set up Sheepdog. We have Pageant. Um, we, we maybe would have liked to have opened 4 3. So we could do Pageant, um, Faithful Hound, or something like that. But um, I think we'll probably take. Let's see, what are we doing here? Um, our plus buys are all terminal. Exorcist looks good. We have really nothing going. We have we have a uh, ghost, but how do we get ghosts? Um, that's a good question. Kind of want to do sheepdog exorcist so I can play the she the exorcist a lot. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do Sheepdog Exo. If they have opened 2 5, that's interesting. Um, Vault Faithful Hound is pretty cool, I suppose. Um, okay, so we hit 5 2 here. Do we want Pageant um, or not? That's kind of the question. Hmm. <laughs> The thing is, I think we want to get ghosts, which means we need to trash fives. That just seems like too much. I mean, I, I mean, I guess it means we want to reap. Take a paddock and a faithful hound. Like, I just wonder how much this is just paddock money. Really? I mean, I think I will take a paddock. Yeah, pageant does seem pretty nice. I don't think I want anything here. It would probably have been a good idea for me to pick up a... Um, okay, this is actually a really good hand. Let's see, hopefully we draw the Exo and an Estate in the next few cards. The next four cards. But at least getting a couple ghosts seems pretty necessary to playing the full deck. I mean, once you have a little bit of terminal space, you can all of a sudden buy a lot of things like, and have a lot of control that the other player doesn't have. So I feel like you kind of need the ghosts. They're just getting the exorcist now. Okay. Paddock, Sheepdog, draw the Exorcist. Beautiful, beautiful. That's exactly, uh, yeah, okay. That's exactly what we want. Uh, I can take a harem here. I can just take a gold with the intent to exercise it. Um, let's 
it's really tough for me to know what to do here. <laughs> um, I feel like it's a gold. Maybe it's just a wine merchant. Yeah, let's do wine merchant. So I can exercise it or I can play it like a a gold is just worse for me if I don't line it up. Here I might take pageant. Or I'll take another wine merchant, honestly. No, it should probably be pageant. Pageant's really good. Like, I wish I had it already, but my draws have worked out, so. We're going to take pageant here. We get to the end of our shuffle, which is nice. Okay, enter assist. Um... I do kind of want to trigger this shuffle. Top deck's a paddock. That's what we want, so. Just end actions here. Take another wine merchant. Don't react. Exercise this and do a ghost. And here we are. And there's sort of a qu there's a question here of whether I want to um Trigger the shuffle. I have five here. I can just take a Destrier and not trigger the shuffle. Destrier and a Coffers and not trigger the shuffle. Or I can line up, try and line things up a little better. No, I think I want to do the Destrier line. I think that's just better. Sheepdog doesn't look super great right now, but... Well, I seem to be ahead of my opponent as far as the ghosts go. I'm going to get to play my first ghost and get my second ghost, I think, sooner. We'll see here, though. We'll see here if I actually line up ghost with uh, or exorcist with wine merchant. Gonna need another wine merchant. Okay. Well, yeah, this is all working out pretty good here. I do dead draw that, that's fine. It's really not a big deal. I think we're gonna go all the way through with well no, we'll be hitting a wisp here, right? I think we just want more wine merchants for now. Does this take another ghost? Horse. Okay, we do get to horse. It's turn eight, and this is going pretty well, actually. I'm, I'm surprised that this has turned out nicely. <laughs> um. My opponent hasn't has more destriers than me, and has maybe and now we've trashed the same number of estates. So, yeah, they have okay. That's a pretty good turn for them. Buys reap. Okay, they have no plus buy. Okay, destrier. Okay, the top card is a paddock. Um, but I think I'd rather have them 
the ghost hit a hit horses than anything else. So I'm wondering if it is um, if we're staying at one ghost or if we get multiple ghosts. I think probably it's overkill. Yeah, I think it's probably overkill. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm right. Okay, so now we want we played the sheepdog normal. But we probably just want like Paddock Destrier. Okay. Uh, at this point, I actually do think I want rather have the Wisp in there. We set Wine Merchant aside, which, well, it's not bad. That's sort of interesting that Wine Merchant will always be a target for Ghost. It's not super great. Maybe we think about ways to top deck a horse. But yeah, we're we're really quickly they're they're going to be single provincing from here on out. I would say so our our deck needs to do pretty well. We're going to get that uh, wine merchant off the bat. We'll have a lot of buys this turn, so that's nice. They take single province and trash in state. Okay, nice. We do draw here. We're only going to get to play one paddock, which is slightly sad. Not to the first horse, but to the second horse. We will do that. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. I think we want to keep the coppers. We're drawing fine. Exercising horse into imp will be like better than. We'll at least play six of these. Like it can be province destrier destrier. Pretty easily, and then. Get a copper out of the deck. No, I think it's province destrier destrier. Province destrier destrier. Agent wine merchant. Exercise this. And do an imp. Play the ghost. All right. We might have a little bit of issues drawing here. We'll see. We will see. But the imp will stay around forever and the horse won't. So, And we get to keep the copper, which the Will-O-Wisp sometimes draw for free. So the unfortunate thing is that it means I have slightly more of a chance of a full dud. But, yeah. My opponent just doesn't have any plus buy. Or, or really deck control. So I feel pretty safe here. I take the farmer's market. Okay. The destriers are almost coming uh, off the uh, shelves, so that's nice. Okay. Nice. 
Top decks of Destry are well. That's okay. Another Dash Rear. All right, all right, whatever. Here we get to do this. And react like this. We are a little short on money. Could always reap. Province reap is okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a good idea. I think that's fine. Like, province. Reap Destrier. All right, we only have two buys, so that makes sense. Okay. Exorcist, we'll take one more imp. Although I don't think we want any more than that. But we're set up to double from here on out. And they have a lot of coffers, I suppose. So I need to watch for them doubling. They're going for two provinces. Okay. Okay. Paddock, continue, continue. Paddock, continue. Sheepdog. That's province horse. Okay. Now I have 18. Which means I can get double province. <sighs> I mean, there's no way they get to double, right? So I just take a province and... and reap or a province in a duchy. Just a province duchy, right? Undo. Finish that. I'll get rid of one copper here. I don't see any way that they can double, so I'm just going to province. Duchy. My merchant, get that back. Trash the copper. Okay. And we should be good. 
to go from here to double. Yeah. Okay. They didn't get to play their plus buy. Okay. So that was game one. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, I think that the ghost plan is really, I mean, usually ghost isn't really that good. Oh, nice. My opponent is, uh, just told me that they're streaming. Uh, <laughs> uh... Okay, into the next game, and we have uh, what's going to be a really complicated one. Yikes. <laughs> wow, we have, um, let's see, no thinning, um, but a board with huge possibilities. Um, wow, okay. What are we opening here? We eventually want to be doing displace. We want to displace to get a bunch of advisors and thrones. We want all the fives. We want all the destriers. Merchant guild helps us with that. Um, they have five two, which is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Um, I think I probably just want silver. Silver. Uh, yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Okay, that was bad. I should shouldn't have gone silver silver because of uh butterfly, right? Should have gotten a four, two butterfly into a five. But oh well. Go for a displace here. And now we'll take the four to do that for. I mean I think having the silver in deck is good. Like we're gonna wanna buy a lot of stuff and so there is light thinning here with this place, but it's really just going to be turning estates into fours. It's not going to be doing much to, um, it's just not going to be doing anything really to our coppers because always displacing silvers into things is going to be better than displacing estates. So, well, I suppose that's not true because eventually we, we probably will want to control the estate pile. So having the ability to displace coppers into estates is actually quite strong. It's a little bit of a, like something of a, of a board where I do not want to have, um, I not want to be second player, but that's okay. Um, is it another displace? Don't really want to draw them a card, but it's probably mm, Necessary. Lost City's got to be better. Changeling or Silver. 
Changeling's already probably better. Displace misses. Okay, never, never mind. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's really nice. Um, I don't even think we want... I think Throne's at the already better than Advisor for us. I mean, with Butterfly around. Right. Uh, shoot. Uh, Displaced Lost City or Destrier. How much is drawing that extra card helping? You know, I don't think that I don't think that lost cities are going to be that important because with thrones, with throne rooms, it shouldn't be a big deal, right? Um, to get actions, just throwing some destriers, get some throne room chains going. So, yeah, I think worrying about the, the lost city split is not going to be a big deal. Now, I did want one early because I have the displace and I have other stuff going on but right now I don't think it's a big deal I'm gonna take a destrier here along with what probably a displace and then um, yeah we'll throw in this in the shuffle we have a displace down there I would like to throw in the displace but I think drawing more is better it has to be We probably already want to be getting to Merchant Guild. We need plus buy. Need, need, need. To. Yeah. But like, I mean, there's might even be loops with Throne and. Uh... Yeah, might even be. Oh, okay. Well, in this case, I will just play this and, uh, yeah, be happy with that. Um, gain one of those, play a displace, gain one of, exchange it for a changeling. Okay. Uh, I suppose I should probably take one advisor here. I wish I could take a destrier, but we're not quite just close. Not, not quite there yet for that. Okay. Nice. Hmm. We definitely don't want them turning in that changeling. If we can stop it. But yeah, we, we need the Merchant Guild now. Because Triumph is already looking really good here. <laughs> like Destrier Throne Room looks really good to me for them. Yeah, yeah. You actually do want to throne Merchant Guild, even though that's like a Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it. Oh man. Okay. Well we got through a lot of bad cards there. It's not good, but we'll take a merchant guild. Changeling for a destrier. Yeah, that's not what we wanted, but you know. It's gotta be the advisor. Probably could butterfly. I probably should have butterflied. Um, just take that out. Put throne rooms. Do they have any other good actions in their hand? They probably do. But maybe not. Maybe they just have a displace. They can butterfly the throne now. Yeah. I mean, there's some nutty things that you can do on this board. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Three buys. Buys at change lane. Okay. Duster, duster. Um, I'm just going to draw more. We'll do this. Nice. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we get to displace a silver merchant guild. And draw that. Displace a Another silver into probably a destrier because we need more draw here. Um, yeah, yeah. We have three buys, so it can be four, three, two, four, three, two. That's that's nine. Um, the thing is that with the displaces, we can just do a lot next turn with a little. Displacing advisor into silvers and such. With a lot of money. I want to get more merchant guilds in play. Could just be throne room merchant guild. Um, but I think it's like throne room... Destrier, Destrier, and I'm like pretty sure that we want to, I don't even know what we want to do, we want to like take all the estates in one turn. <laughs> that seems like they're stopping, okay. Okay, Destrues are gone. Can I pile these? It's possible, it's possible. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Displacing coppers to estates is maybe bad here because they like need to triumph next turn and they can maybe do it. I don't know. Hmm. Let's go ahead and Well, if I exile the copper, I have to get the estate because I'm not exiling copper to curse. That sounds awful. Yeah, this is really sad here. Um, I think I am going to do this. I'm going to take... Well... Those are the piles, right? So Merchant Guild Throne shouldn't actually make it any easier. And yeah, the thing is I'd want to triumph there, but uh not I don't also don't because Okay, okay. Because I I think they can like empty all the estates maybe if I do that and I don't know maybe I should just not play the the displaces there. It's tough. It's tough to know. Basically drawing deck, taking the estate. They don't have that many coffers. 
though. So how many can, how many triumphs can they even buy? Only three. <laughs> Only three. They didn't gain that many cards though. So I think I can probably outscore and win on my turn. Isn't that a great question? Wow. Okay. The merchant guild that I took isn't looking so hot. I can probably displace that. They do need to um, triumph here, though, is the thing. Because if they don't triumph, I will be uh, clearing out all the estates. And they will be very behind and probably and like unable to catch up in the next t turn or two. In which case, I can just empty the third pile. So, this I don't think is enough for them to win. I, I mean, triple triumph is, what, like one... Three, well, it's, it's two points, then three points, then four points. It's just not that many points. Yeah, they're just taking that. Okay. Changeling triumph. Copper triumph. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can do this then. Okay, throne room, Destrier again, okay, I'm going to play one Destrier here, throw in another one, play another one, and what's down there, Lost City Estate Copper. So let's see if I can find the win here. I can take a changeling, which I can then ex exchange to get another ch changelings can like pile themselves, right? Yeah, but if the uh return it, gain displace. And we're going to just take the changeling here. Throne room, Destrier. Okay. Yeah, four actions. Hmm. Hmm. If we displaced estate into throne room. Three actions. Okay. Displace estate to throne room. Uh, displace estate to throne room again. Then drew both of those. Throw and throne. Merchant guild, merchant guild. Merchant guild. Six buys. And I'd have five. 
10, 15 money with six buys. But I would need to get five estates out. One changeling. Which, like, probably wins. Anyway. I mean, what about just, like, displacing two coppers into estates? Then I'd have eight money, 11 money. 11 money, I'd have four buys. Changeling would empty itself. Four buys, and I would need to take estate, estate, silver, estate, uh, triumph. That should work. That should work just fine. Changeling, throne, take a changeling, and that's it. Okay, got it. All right, that wasn't actually too bad. I just, uh, their changeling piles are tricky. Okay, that's 2 0. And, uh, should be my start here. So, that was nice. That was, uh, that was fun. <laughs> Um, I think they took too many changelings earlier, early, and too many advisors, rather than thrones. Um, throne was just a throne was a really good card there because you have like the worst case where you just draw thrones is is actually a really good case. Like not a good, but it mitigates the bad case. You can just return it for a five and and be pretty happy. So, you just want thrones. You want advisors maybe to tear through the deck. I also did make the mistake of getting a silver when I could have gotten an advisor. Um, but ultimately having the silver in my deck was a good thing, right? So, okay. <laughs> Would you look at this one? We have, um, this is the supply. Boons and hexes, it's an artifacts. Well, catapult's pretty good. And it's trashing. We have an engine, right? Prizes cost zero, so they can't be exiled by a cardinal. That's kind of nice. Um, only plus buy is princess, which means princess is probably the most important thing on the board. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're going to go for the scrying pool, though it is a little bit sus. But with Way of the Rat, it's just got to be worth it. You need to get at least one, and then you can trash the potion immediately. Immediately. Now I'll take a tournament. Okay. Catapult misses, but that's okay. Um, it's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. Archive might be good. I don't know. Archive's pretty good with tournament. Um, they're taking the cardinal. I suppose it's fine, right? I mean, you... We'll take one more pool here before we trash the potion. 
hard buying and it's a little bit tough. Although we, mm, we'll be able to rat it here, which is nice. Yeah, I'll top deck a copper. Yeah, please. That's fine. Yeah, nothing good down there, so that's nice. It, it Cardinals just seems like it's going to miss a lot. Like, it's going to hit scrying pools, and then it can't exile scrying pools. It might get my catapult, which would be a big bit of a bummer. Oh, no. Oh, they, they're they missing the rat business? <laughs> Yeah, my opponent has missed missed this way of the rat interaction with Scrying Pool. In will be very nice because it will let you rat more things. <laughs> so rat seems pretty good here. Um, yeah, and the question is, can we get to another Scrying Pool this turn, or do we just rat? I think we just rat and take a silver because we need um we need money <laughs> at least we will at some point i wonder if we're not getting provinces till we have like merchant ships going or tormentors probably more likely well i don't know merchant ships not bad here yeah that's tough discard to three and yeah but Top deck, top deck, discard, top deck, yep, nice. Um, honestly, we'll, yeah, I'll buy one more. I would, <laughs> I want a lot of these things. Exiles a catapult, yeah, that was going to happen at some point. Discard, discard, that's great. Discard top deck tournament. Um, I'm going to play this because I need to get some other stuff going as well. I need to get my catapults back. So, but yeah, we're, we feel a bit behind here just because it's so hard to make money. Take another catapult. Uh, at least we are having some nice luck. Top deck that. Draw here. Um, we can take two scrying pools. That feels pretty good. The deck will draw itself without being able to do anything, but that's fine. <laughs> Things I was a catapult. Yeah, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Their cardinals doing a lot of work here. Mm, here I will trash an estate and get a silver. I'm pretty sure here that I have six scrying pools. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I got seven of them. That's nice. It's going to be pretty big but again my deck doesn't really do much and I am having trouble drawing regardless so top deck top deck okay top deck top deck top deck top deck here we go yeah I need to get back around to my 
Catapult. Okay, nice. That's good. It's a good time. Discard. Top deck. Hey, not bad. Okay. Not bad. All right. Let's go ahead and take a merchant ship. <laughs> because why not? We need to make a Monet. Okay, exiled catapult. Uh, I need to get those back. <laughs> really need to get those back. Okay, good. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, they can certainly top deck that. Yeah. Yep. Like rocks seem pretty good. Yeah, a couple of my pools get discarded here. They get to get their cardinal, and I get to discard my cardinal. Although, wouldn't they want to keep it there? Yeah, they should keep it there because, I mean, okay. It's one of the few things that their cardinal can hit. So you'd think that they would want to... Um, maximize the chances of that they're drawing with a lot less uh, scrying pools than I have so it's a bit sad they've trashed a lot more so I just need to draw here <laughs> dang that okay well that completely stops my turn so I even almost have a province, but I don't. Hmm. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, this is not looking good. That is like a really... That's just a really tough thing to run into. Um, however, we can do... We can get a really nice in and just put shuffle like all the scrying pools shuffle sc five scrying pools back in But yeah, we've managed to get really far behind here. Um, they get to princess first. They definitely should take princess. Yeah, they took the princess. So, this is pretty much over, I would say. Oh, maybe I should have shuffled in two cards that were bad, actually. That would have been smart, huh? Jeez, okay. Yeah. I misplayed this one um, in some ways. Um. 
funny that with seven scrying pools and a worse deck, I still end up worse off than the person with three scrying pools. <laughs> Play the Cardinal. Yeah, the Cardinal just worked out well. I mean, I think I kind of neglected it with Toil. It's a good card. Um, let's top deck it. Here, though, we do get some nice stuff going on. Uh, even more nice stuff going on. Okay. Let's actually discard it now. Um, discard, discard that. Discard top deck. Top deck because I know there's just nothing better for me to draw. Actually, this is like fine for me. I should make sure that I have three cards that I really want to trash. Oh, I should have discarded one of them. Shoot. Okay, well, trash the curse. Trash this. Doesn't matter. We're still, we're still, okay. Because we can toil, catapult, buy a province. Okay, well, we did something there. We cut a lot thinner. Um, I think we're going to have a lot easier time drawing. <laughs> Honestly, getting three cards out is huge. I have like six scrying pools. Uh, my tournament isn't exiled, right? I have six scrying pools, three catapults, and a tournament. I have like ten out of the ten of these cards are actions at least. And there's an N. Well not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah. The losing the N is pretty tough though. But um Tournament. Go. Oh, um. I mean, the attack is fine. I don't think the attack matters that much. And I think the actions actually do matter. So. For me, there's no reason to not just keep buying provinces now, so. And tournament just became becomes a duchy gainer. How do they have the two points? Are they not trash two of their estates? Wow. Impressive. This might not be so bad. My deck will hum for a lot longer than theirs. 
But the main thing is just that it's a bummer because I like gain way less from going out and getting attacks and things like that, whereas they can put the hurt on me. Mm, yep. Don't want that. So we'll gladly do that. Okay. Yeah, that's sad. Well, it's actually a pretty big deal. So, so I'll take that for sure. Don't need that for sure. I suppose that makes sense. Actually, can we go undo that? Thanks. I'm just going to do that instead. And we'll take a province. And we'll see what happens. So maybe I can curse one more time. Maybe I can do something. I don't know. Just gonna scrying pool. Okay. Oh, they get all their scrying pools in their hand. That's nice. A shame that my merchant ship was um, mutilated, but what can you do, really? Yeah, that's the other thing. I can do... Uh, mm, gain four silvers or something like that, right? From Trusty Steed. If I want tr to see Trusty Steed's text, I have to go all the way to here, huh? Gain four silvers and put your deck into your discard pile. Hmm. Okay. Seems like their deck is falling apart. But I also like need them to miss province <laughs> because they have the buys and I don't. Of course, this is a pretty bad hand to hit province with. With Envious, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, so we're not hitting province this turn, I don't think. Which means we might want to get our immersion chips back. Okay. Could take some rocks. I kind of feel like that might work. Toil, yeah. Taking more tournaments seems... Weird to me. I guess they're just trying to discard for them. Yeah, okay. Discard, discard for them. Okay. Top deck, top deck. Huh. Yeah.
I'm gonna do that to kind of keep him down. Okay. Discard, discard. That's more like it. Discard, top deck. Again, a lot more like it. Top deck. Um, top deck, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Cards, actions. So I have like no money, huh? Well, I can make that into some money. Um, two. Mm. Okay. So then right now this is four, six, eight. Um, well, I could just accomplish the same thing by playing followers, right? Just play followers. And then um, I'll have to do that. Uh, do I take the province here? I think I do. I'm going to have four, four, eight anyway. So I can also get rid of one of these. Yeah, okay. What do you know? I can count. This is a pretty bad hand, but might not be a bad hand, all things considered. We're having a good turn, but unless they can curse me, Double Province doesn't win. And if they don't get Double Province, I win. I kind of am looking good. At least to them, I would look good. But they're really drawing well here. They they only have one more scrying pool. Doesn't seem as though they have the princess yet. Oh no, they do have the princess. Okay. Gains a duchy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if they can double now, but they still need twelve to double. Twelve's a lot of money. Mm. That's sad. Okay. We can still do this. We can still do this. Nice, nice, beautiful. They do not have 12. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, we're just gonna soldier on. I mean, it's just province or bust, I think, because like, yeah, even they're saying that. So they're saying end it or don't end it. <laughs> end it or I will. Um, discard, yeah, okay. Okay, nice. Top deck that. Okay. Discard. Top deck. Nice. Get to the steed. That's good. Um, top deck that. Okay. Uh, we do want to top. Yeah, we have we have the win now. Right. 
plus two cards, plus two actions. It's got to be the win. Even plus two coins, plus two actions. Okay, well, that's the match. Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Sweet John 33.